Crisis is a new movie that deals with a very real issue. Uh, and after seeing this movie, I felt like I had to discuss it. So anyway, let's review Crisis. Crisis stars Army Hammer, Evangeline Lilly, and the great Gary Oldman, and is directed by Nicholas Jarecki. What's up, guys? Crisis is a new thriller that's out. I saw the trailer for this movie a couple months ago, and I kind of passed it over because I honestly couldn't tell what it was about. Uh, and that's kind of my fault. It was one of those things where I was just kind of glancing through Amazon Prime looking for new movies to watch. And I didn't really, you know, focus in on it. So finally, I decided to give this movie a chance. And I was actually quite surprised by not only how good this movie was, but how important this movie is. Because it addresses uh, an issue that a lot of people can relate to. Addiction. You had my son run drugs for you. This Wires. is the biggest public health crisis since tobacco! It's not our responsibility. Then whose is it? We can touch you anywhere in the world. We're running out of time. Last chance. This is something that touches almost every life. We all have friends, we have family members that have dealt with addiction in various forms. The, the one that this focuses on is the opioid crisis. Uh, opioids are pretty much pain relievers. Uh, and as you get older, you can really come to understand just how important pain relievers are. I myself, uh, I take pain relievers all the time. And there's nothing wrong with that. But when does it become addictive? That depends on the drug. So this movie really just focuses in on that. And really these businesses that make billions and billions of dollars. And when money is on the line, then the line between right and wrong can often become quite blurred. And this movie explores a lot of those themes. But anyway, let me give you a quick plot synopsis on the characters. This is one of those stories that uh, has three different narratives going on at the same time. Uh, much like Pulp Fiction, uh, movies like Traffic, Go, which is a, a really underrated one. And I actually love these types of movies uh, because when they're done well, they're so satisfying and they just feel epic. They feel bigger because it's not just one story, it's three stories. And usually they end up colliding somewhere, which is what this one does. Our three main characters are Jake, played by Army Hammer, uh, Claire, played by Evangeline Lilly, and of course, Gary Oldman plays Tyrone. And they all are either affected or have a stake in the, the opioid crisis that's going on. Uh, I think the best character to hone in on would be Gary Oldman's character who plays Tyrone because he's actually uh, a biochemist and they're looking for his sign off on this new drug that's pretty much three times more addictive than oxycodone. This is what he finds out in his trials. He, you know, he does these trials on, you know, these mice. And so he's like, I got a big problem with this. There's no way I'm going to be able to sign off on this. And so, of course, a lot is on the line, including his job. Uh, a lot of his close colleagues, his friends start turning on him and it gets pretty intense. And then you have Jake and Claire. These two characters have a much more personal stake in this. Jake is a DEA agent and uh, he's undercover, very dangerous job. And he's trying to take down this, this drug dealer by the name of Mother. Yes, they call him Mother. But he has a sister that's directly affected with this. She's a drug addict. And then you got Claire who has a son that succumbs to this uh, because he ends up getting involved with the wrong people. And so this character is really interesting because she's going after uh, whoever is responsible for her son's death. And this is not a character that's good with a, a weapon. You know, this is not a, you know, a total badass. This is just a normal person like you and me who decides to confront the danger head on. And I find that just so admirable. You know, we love characters like this that are not well equipped to handle the danger that they're about to get into. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot going on in this movie and it's a lot to pack inside of, you know, under two hours. And I think it's actually handled very well. This is a major passion project for director and writer uh, Nicholas Jarecki. And the, I think the results are there on screen. You can tell when a, a, a writer and a director are just so into a project that they're doing. And really, when you get right down to it, uh, I mean, let's you know, face it, this is a problem that will never go away, you know? You already know going into this movie that there's not gonna be this great 
revelation at the end of the movie and the opioid crisis is completely gone. No, uh, of course not. This is almost an unwinnable battle. But what makes the, the story worth it is how it affects the different characters. Not just our three main characters, I guess the quote unquote good guys, but you can kind of understand where the, the, uh, these big corporations are coming from. You can understand where the people on the other side of it are coming from. Uh, you know, there's empathy and apathy all around in this, and it just depends on how it affects one emotionally. You know, if it directly is something involved in your life, like I literally have multiple people in my life, friends, family members that are directly affected with addiction. I'm literally wearing the ring of one of them right now. So this is a story that really hit close to home for me, you know? Uh, and, and the stakes are high in this movie because if this drug were to get out, then the results could be catastrophic. I mean, we've seen firsthand what drug addiction can do to people. It's a serious, serious deal. So I'm just glad that movies like this exist, that actually ask questions, create a conversation, not necessarily try to form one you know, finite answer, because there is no finite answer to this, but if anything, it just raises awareness, and I love movies like this. Very, very well directed. And I think the biggest thing for me is I'm a character guy. Like, I adored all three of these main characters. They're all very different, yet similar, especially Claire and Jake. But as the story went along, I thought they were very well thought out characters. Now, as far as any cons, as I said earlier, there's a lot to pack into this story. This could easily have been like a miniseries, like, you know, an eight episode story. And of course, I think there's more you could have explored with, you know, all three of these characters, honestly. And uh, Nicholas Durecki just had a, an uphill battle trying to give each character enough ample screen time, uh, keeping the narrative going forward, and hopefully having you know it all come together in the end. Uh, and I think he succeeded. I think he did a really good job. I would definitely give this movie uh, a purchase worthy. I thought it was very effective. Uh, I watched it last night, and I've been thinking about it all day. You know, it, it kind of touches close to home. So highly recommend this movie. I think it definitely creates a good conversation. Uh, so if you see Crisis, let me know in the comments. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks, where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do Free for Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and Drum Dum out.